Hi there guys, it's Mark from WP Mayor and today I'm going to be talking to you about Sendin Blue's service as well as their WordPress plugin. Now as most of you know, one of the most important aspects of a business is marketing. If you have a great product or a great service but no idea how to market it to the right audience, then that product or service will struggle. In today's world, the digital front is the best place to market your product and service and while social media is growing at a rapid rate, the method of choice for most of the great marketers is still email marketing. Now most services out there offer email marketing solutions that are rather expensive. However, Send in Blue is one of those that offer services that go the extra step to offer marketing campaigns, transactional emails and even SMS messages all from one platform and at a fairly, fairly fair price. Now, before getting into the nitty gritty of how Send in Blue works and how the plugin works, I wanted to give you a quick overview of the features on offer. So the idea behind the creation of Send in Blue was to make it as simple as possible to use, yet still as powerful as can be. So the service offers a multitude of features, all of which center around marketing and transactional emails and SMS. Let's start off with marketing. Your audience is the first priority. And send them blue lets you import your contacts manually or even import a whole file, .csv or .txt, and even gives you the option to create a subscription form to use on your newsletter or website. Once you've created your list of contacts, it's a very simple and intuitive process to start creating the campaign. You've got four options to create your content, the drag and drop builder, the HTML code, the WYSIWYG editor, or the responsive design builder, and I'll be going through these a bit later on. You can schedule these campaigns as well as set up autoresponders for those welcome emails or other confirmations you might have. And if you're worried about security and getting your content delivered correctly, Send in Blue even offers send campaigns on your behalf using its own dedicated IPs while applying your own signature. Lastly, you'd want to keep track of what's going on. Send in Blue shows your results in real time at any time for any subscriber, giving you their history and their statistics. All the data you might want is available right there and then, if it's open rates, click rates, soft hard bounces, heat maps, and so on. Moving on to transactions, with Send in Blue you can send purchase confirmations, password resets, and so on, via SMS to your clients. And you even get to track each email and message to make sure they're being delivered, opened, and so on. To help you maintain a healthy contact list, they even blacklist any hard bounces to exclude any invalid addresses of those marking you as spam from your lists. They've also made it easier to integrate Send in Blue into your site with APIs, webhooks, and tags. If you want to send the same message to multiple customers, Send in Blue even lets you, lets you set a template that will automatically be personalized for each message with your customer's personal information, making your life a little bit easier. Now let's get down to it. What does Send in Blue actually offer? First of all, you get an easy to configure setup. Signing up to and setting up Sending Blue is a rather simple process. Once you've signed up and received your confirmation email, it's just a question of going through the dashboard and following Send in Blue's instructions to complete your setup and start using all its functionalities. As soon as you access your account on Send in Blue site, you're taken to the page shown here from where you're instructed to complete the initial process by uploading your contacts, creating campaigns, and completing your profile. The uploading of contacts is an easy and fast process, as I mentioned earlier. You can add them manually or import a .txt or .csv file with whatever list of contacts you might have. And you can then even categorize them into groups as you need. Let's skip to completing your profile. All you have to do here is enter your personal information and your send in blue preferences as is asked of you, and it's complete. That is it. A pretty straightforward process. Now creating your first campaign is the next and final step to getting Send in Blue up and running. Your first job is to set the campaign information. These include the name, the subject, the from name, from email, and you even have some advanced settings for default header, default footer, and so on. All of these are basic requirements for any campaign you might create. The next step is to create your campaign. First of all, you must create your email. To do this, you've got four methods. The four methods I mentioned earlier, which are the drag and drop newsletter builder, the WYSIWYG editor, 
paste the HTML code and responsive design builder, and they'll be going through each one next. The third step will be selecting your recipients. You're free to choose which list you want, and you can even set filters and add conditions to them. Then finally, it's simply time to schedule the campaign. You can select the date and time that you want the newsletter to be sent, and even given a preview on the left hand side of what it will look like. Then it's just a case of saving and waiting to that schedule to restate. So as I've been mentioning, there are four ways to build your content on Send in Blue, and I'm gonna go through them one by one. I'll start with the drag and drop newsletter builder. Here you're taken to the email editor screen where you've got options for structure, background text, colors, and images. Structure is where you can add all the options ranging from a simple text box to social buttons, wherever you want on the newsletter. Background is just that, a place where you can set the background color and even the container colors and borders. Text is where you set the font and font sizes for the header, content, button, and footer. Colors is where you set the colors for the text, links, and so on of each part of your content. And images is where you can import the images to include in the newsletter. All of them are straightforward processes. However, the structure does have some limitations when it comes to doing things like placing different types of content on the same line. For example, you cannot place a social button on the same line as text. You must go above or below it. Moving on is the WYSIWYG editor. The WYSIWYG editor, as well as the paste HTML code editors, open new windows in a light box where you can add anything that you might come up with, editing it as you like. Both are options for those marketers out there who want to create their newsletters in just the same way as writing a blog post, for example. Finally, you've got the responsive page design builder, which is the idea solution if you're used to building a newsletter using individual elements, or if you want to target an audience that uses mobile devices. If we move on to the actual management, tracking, and statistics of each campaign, we can go to the campaign section where we will see each campaign we've created and the given information, such as the amount of people you've sent it to, the amount of views you've had, openers, clickers, unsubscribers, and so on. You're given a preview, as well as action and share options. And you even have a report button, which opens a new tab, showing you a report on your campaign. From here, you can track the views, the unique views, clicks and unique clicks, unsubscribers, bounces, and you can even track everything according to domain names. You can even have marketing statistics and the heat map, but this is available only if you're on a credit plan or on a bronze subscription or higher. You even have a statistics section, which shows a comparison between any set of dates, here you're given the open rates, click rates, and subscription rates, and some more information for any period that you want and for any campaign that you want. There are also some other features worth noting about Send in Blue. If you go to the API and integration section, you will see the API where you can use it to interface Send in Blue with your website. You can synchronize your database and the reportings. You can do order tracking, where you have to do is integrate the script, and the transactions will be tracked. And then you've got forms, where you can create your subscription and unsubscription forms. They're built straight into Send in Blue. And what's neat about these is that any subscribers from these forums are added to your favorites list, which you can send your newsletter to automatically through Send in Blue along with the rest of your contract contacts. I'll show you what each one looks like. You have your subscription form. You can create it as you want and even add a message. 
And you've got the same thing for your unsubscription form. Another feature is Send in Blue's anti-spam policy. This should also be strictly adhered to. They don't take this lightly, and if you're found to be using contacts that you haven't gotten yourself, your account might even be suspended. It's a tough penalty, but one that ensures everything is kept running smoothly. Now, as good as I'm finding Send in Blue, it is lacking a bit in some parts. First of all, there aren't any pre-made templates. As you saw earlier, there are various ways to build your content, but you're not given any pre-made templates to get started with. For those who are unsure of what layout to use, or want some other ideas, or even simply don't have the time to dedicate to building a newsletter from scratch, a pre-made template can be very handy. It's not something that would make or break send in blue, but surely something that some of you would expect from a service that's focused around sharing your marketing content in a structured manner. The other thing is limited supported countries. As I realized when I tried to enter my home country of Malta on my profile, the list of supported countries is not that fast. It's something that I feel needs to be rectified so as to appeal to a larger audience and not deter any clients from those unsupported countries like myself. Having gone over the services offered by Send in Blue, it's time to get to the WordPress side of things. Send in Blue has a WordPress plugin available for download from the plugin repository. This plugin is the perfect addition to the Send in Blue service for any WordPress user. Once you've downloaded and activated the plugin, all you have to do is connect to your Send in Blue account, and once the account's validated, you just have to enter the API key you'll be given and you're set. The Send in Blue section in your dashboard will now give you access to the same data and content that you have in your Send in Blue account. You can view your credits, your contact lists, and your campaigns, statistics, and more, all right from your dashboard. If you head to the settings section, you'll see a few other options too. The sign up process section is where you tell Send in Blue where you want the new subscribers to be listed and whether you want it to send out confirmation emails to them. The subscription form section is where you can create the form using HTML. Send in Blue gives you field options to add into the editor. And it even gives you the short code to use in any post, page, or widget somewhere in your site. Finally, you've got the confirmation message where you set the particular messages you want to show for successful registrations, errors, existing subscribers, or invalid email addresses. All these features are built right into the plugin, giving you absolute control over your Send in Blue account right from within WordPress. You even have the lists, as you would have on the website, as well as the campaigns and the statistics. Now, before concluding, I think it's important to talk about the resources and pricing offered by Send in Blue. We'll start with the resources. Send in Blue has a support center with some great tutorials on how to get started, how to manage your lists and your settings, and some more advanced stuff too. And the FAQ is also available covering most of the issues you might encounter along the way. If we move to pricing, when you think of email marketing, you normally associate it with high prices and mediocre service. But Send in Blue has kept its level of quality quite high with its features and support while keeping the costs low thanks to an internally developed technical infrastructure. Send in Blue has two business models, the monthly subscriptions and the credit packages. However, before we go through them, I need to mention their free plan. By just creating a free account, automatically you get 9,000 emails to send per month absolutely free. That is sending one email to 9,000 contacts or two emails to 4,500 contacts and so on. So let's talk about subscriptions. Subscriptions offer you the chance to send tens of thousands of emails to your subscribers for prices as low as $7.37 per month. Taking this example of the micro plan, you can send 40,000 emails for just $7.37. Pay as you go works with credit packages. These credits are used to send emails. 
So when you send one email, you're using one credit. In other words, with the highlighted plan below, you can send 50,000 emails for the price of $134. The great thing about this plan is that the credits don't expire. So this makes the pay-as-you-go an option, an ideal solution for anyone who doesn't send out emails that frequently. So in conclusion, from everything that I've mentioned in this video, it's clear to see that Send in Blue is a great alternative to the other email marketing solutions that exist. It's got all the features you might need, great support and very fair prices. The prices really are a joy to behold, especially when you consider what the competitors cost and the effectiveness of such an email marketing solution. If you want to see a direct comparison with Send in Blue's, one of Send in Blue's main competitors, MailChimp, they've actually gone ahead and created this comparison list, showing prices as well as features between the two. You can go ahead and check that out for yourself. If you view Send in Blue or any other email marketing solution, feel free to leave a comment and keep the conversation going on my WP Mayor review. And thank you for listening.